welcome back to the fourth edition of Second Thought Thursdays, where I give my thoughts on different products that are mainly related towards filmmaking. This week, we'll be taking a look at the Rode VideoMic Pro. Like always, we're going to start out with what's included inside the box. The Rode Mic, when you buy it, it comes with the Rode Mic itself and a already attached uh, windscreen. That's it. There's nothing else. Just as I did last week for the Tax Star Mic, I'm going to be breaking this review into two parts. The physical aspects of the Rode Mic and the uh, audio performance of the mic. Starting with the option switches that are located on the very back of the microphone. The options that it gives you are of course the low pass filters, you can turn that on or off. Then you have your decibel settings, you can put it on 0 or you can put it on minus 10B or plus 10DB for different scenarios or if you're recording with the Canon for example like I am on the 700D you will uh, turn down the preamps on the Canon itself and go to plus 20 on the mic. Next you'll see that I have the newer version of this microphone that comes with the new suspension system. This new system absorbs a lot more vibration noises. I have to say though that it feels like it can break after a serious fall, but as long as you're careful, you shouldn't have any problems. Down to the adapter, it is made out of some type of metal, I don't know what it is, but it is very very sturdy. Onto the front, there is the semi-easy battery compartment. What I mean by semi-easy is that it is very tricky at first to open, but you'll get used to it. And directly below the battery compartment is the uh, audio out cord that feels very well built. And lastly, for the front of the mic, we have the um, what I call the microphone stick. It's basically the uh, audio receiver of the microphone that extends a little bit past the main body of the microphone. And what you should always have on it, in my opinion, is the windscreen that already comes attached to it. And to clarify, uh, this windscreen won't block out all of the wind. Gentle breezes, yeah, it'll block it out definitely. But if you're going outside, you need to get a dead cat. And I would get the uh, the actual road dead cat so it fits perfectly. Because those third parties, some of them, they're like a hit or miss. You never know if it's actually going to fit. That's all for the physical aspects of the mic. Now let's move on to the uh, sound performance. And I will show you uh, various amount of clips that uh, show you the onboard mic versus the Tackstar, which is $230 less, and then the Rode itself, and give you a good feeling of what you should get. This is the audio test for the onboard mic. I have adjusted the settings for the best result of each mic. I am about three feet away from the camera and the microphone, and this mic is plugged in directly to the camera. And I have to note, there is the Xbox, uh, the fan of the Xbox rotating. Here's, here's the, uh, like, silent noise. Moving on, this is the audio test for the Tacstar microphone. I have adjusted the settings of the camera and microphone for the best results for each individual mic. I am about three feet away from the camera and the microphone, and this mic is direct, directly plugged into the Canon T5i. And I have to note, the, there's a, a computer fan that's spinning that direction. Here's silent noise. Lastly, this is the test of the Rode VideoMic Pro. I've adjusted the camera settings to match the best uh, options for the microphone. I'm about three feet away from the mic and it is directly plugged into the camera. No preamps of the Zoom H1 or anything like that. And I have to note there is a fan spinning, a computer fan spinning right there. So, here's silent noise. My final thoughts, um, I would most definitely recommend this tripod to anyone who has the money. Now if you are a low budget filmmaker, and most of us are, um, 
I would always suggest getting the tax star first, like I did, and then uh, saving up over time um, and getting the Rode mic. And if you're thinking, oh dang, I can buy a camera for like almost $230. Well, see, audio is half of the video. When you're watching uh, any movies or videos on YouTube, uh, you should spend, uh, which is, you should spend half on your camera and half on your audio. See, at first I didn't do that. I spent well over $400 on this T5i, and then I bought the Star along with it, and my audio's been bad for quite some time now. And now that I have this road, you can obviously tell a subtle difference or a sudden difference uh, in the audio compared to my earlier reviews. But I mean, filmmaking is all what you want to do. So if you want to spend more on your camera and just go ahead and get that $20 tax star, hey, it's all up to you. Um, lastly, I have one more thing to discuss about buying this microphone. If you see a listing for this mic that is around $100 or more uh, cheaper than the original pricing of this, of this microphone that is right now set at $230, do not buy it. See, this is the third Rode mic I bought. Um, the last two were uh, from eBay, and this one's from Amazon. Uh, the last two were from eBay, and when I got them, they were completely counterfeit. And if you need to know if yours is a fake or a counterfeit, uh, check out this video I have listed in the description. Because uh, when, <laughs> when I had the counterfeit, I watched that video, and everything the dude said uh, that would be on a counterfeit was on mine. So I took it back and, yeah. So go ahead and buy it from Amazon with that under the Rhodes Amazon link uh, because you don't you don't want the fake one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe and like if this helped any, and I will see you guys next Thursday with another review. See, I don't know how to do those endings. Just like the just like last week, I still don't I still don't have my ending yet. So... Okay, you know what? This is actually very, fairly hard because uh, I'm still working on this. Son of... I was like, uh, fairly easy, semi-easy door. But uh, I can't get it on. Uh, should not be that hard.